everybody. We are in sunny Florida on our way up to pick up a new, it's a surprise. You guys will see a little bit later. We're heading up to Georgia, so we got about a, what, three, four hour drive? Yeah, something like that. So we're just fueling up the old uh, F-250 power diesel. So uh, see you soon. saying guys this is the difference on the one we got and this one you can see it's really thin side it's only 24 gauge ours was 80 gauge so much better so if you're looking for a trailer you're definitely gonna want to upgrade this this is one of the first things you should spend money on upgrading is that cheap side otherwise it makes a lot of noise that's one of the differences there for the most part they're all about the same but there's a few extras you should look at we'll show you in our trailer some of the other ones here we are on the side of that one that's got the wavy sides. You can see this one happened to have a screw missing or broken off. You wanna make sure you check that over also as you're walking around your unit. Most of them are there, but some are missing. All right, everybody, we have arrived here. We have the trailer. Our high country cargo trailer. Uh, this is eight and a half by 24, seven foot tall. That was an option we ordered the little uh, taller height. But uh, we'll tell you more and show you more about this when we get on the road. We want to get a start on a drive home. So we want to get that home, then we'll show you more all about it. made it back from our what four hour four hour drive back four hour drive. not too bad so we have the trailer completely here we're going to give you guys a quick walkthrough of it uh some initial impressions of some of the stuff we saw uh maybe a little bit of our experience picking it up maybe this process yeah a little bit about uh where we got it from uh some of the stuff that's standard and options and what we opted to go with yep compared to uh what would come standard so but that, it, it towed nice all the way here yeah, it did. It told really well. He towed it. Yeah, he but did it, all it, was, it was nice time. and smooth. So, so good. let's take a closer look. All right, guys. So this is a 24 foot by eight and a half, and it's seven feet tall. That's one of the options. We decided to go seven foot. They only come well. They come standard six and a half. We went to the seven, uh, just to give us a little better height there. You can see on the ramp, you have the 24 it's supposed to be a 24 inch extension if you need it. And then you notice that it is actual plywood and not the uh, OSB board. So that's nice. It's got the cable assist, the spring cable assisted open. Inside the same way you have the all plywood inside. Um, what else we got here? Pretty much that's, this is what you get. You also got this uh, up front here where you got the, the nose here. But our aerodynamics, this is standard. The wood is standard. Pretty much everything you've seen here besides the height and the extra roof vent is standard. We, we went with an extra roof vent also. It's, it's a long enough trailer. Yeah, I'll show you guys. Let me just back up here. We have the other roof vent right up top here. So you got two. Help you get a little bit of ventilation in here. Um, so yeah, it's... Pretty much um, what he said. We also have the longer board here, so we can also attach that onto the end, right? Yeah, if we wanted uh, a little bit longer. 36 inch. Um, this also has the hooks right in here. We have This is what comes standard. There's four. Uh, you can add the Z-Tracks or E-Tracks. They have all those options for you if you want those. Here's your two in the back. So definitely going to want to put some more in here as we go. Or as you were saying, the Z-Tracks. 
Okay. It has one light here. This only comes on if it's up to your truck. Like, let's see, let's see if I can get it to come on. Yeah. Right there, because I unlock the trucks on the truck doors and it'll come on. So, I mean, you could change that up. That's an easy thing to do. We'll probably end up doing some of that anyway. Uh, one thing we notice on this one, um, I'm sure with a lot of them, because they rush these out, is a lot of these screws, well, here's one right here. The screws are like backed out. I don't know if it's in all the way, if maybe they missed the metal. That's, it's that way in a couple spots. There's one up here. So when you guys are looking for a trailer, make sure you check those. I mean, it's not hard for you to put them in yourself, but it should be done by them. But not a big deal. Uh, another option we did was the roof here. These are 24 inch or uh, excuse me, 16 inch on center studs. They normally come with 24. We just want a little more support in the roof. So these are a little closer together for us. But that's basically the inside. Let's go check out the outside. All right, now we're on the outside of this trailer. Uh, this has all LED lights. That's a standard thing on this. You got the diamond plate trim. You'll see that all, all around to be in the front too on the nose. Uh, this does have the bar locks on both sides. You see that? And of course, you got your license plate light. This here is this is one of the upgrades we definitely wanted. This first one we went up with. If you're interested in a trailer, this would be one of the first things I would recommend upgrading, which is the siding. They normally come with a 24 gauge, that thin metal that's wavy. This is an 80 gauge. So this is nice smooth panels. Yeah, so if you guys look along the side from like this angle, you'll see less wave. If you want to push it on a panel a little bit, just to give them an idea. This one's a little bit more rigid on some of the other trailers you see. It's it's very wavy. Even when you're driving down the road sometimes, you can kind of hear, hear the flex. Uh, we chose this color so it matches the truck a little better. As you guys see. You guys, can, you guys can pick the color you want. They, they got a bunch of different colors. The black looks pretty nice, but we didn't want something to get too hot inside. And drop in the comment section of what kind of decal or picture you'd like to see on the side of this trailer, because there's a lot of real estate. <laughs> or some airbrush and a nice outdoor scene or something. Tires, these are 235, 75, 15 radials. A lot of them, a lot of tire or trailers come with a bias ply. These are radials, standard. These are 50, 200 pound axles. Dexter axles, so that's good. Again, on the front, you got that uh, diamond plate trim all over. And that top rail is thicker than a lot of them, so you have the thicker rail. So that's nice. It is just, it is the nice setup in the front. You got your breakaway for your brakes, and this is the battery in there. We'll be changing that to something bigger. Definitely gonna upgrade. That's a tiny battery. So, well, we can tell them who makes this, right? Because yeah, it's right is, up here. This is a uh, this is a high country cargo trailer. It's made by Direct Connect Cargo. They kind of changed the name of the trailers to this, which I like better. Anyway. Yeah, I like the logo too. These guys are out of Tifton, Georgia. That's why we drove a little bit to get it, but. A lot of the trailers are made there and uh as far as what they offer the price wise they have a lot of standard features that a lot of people charge you extra for so it worked out nice for us we're not affiliated with them or they're not sponsoring any of this video or anything just so far from what we see it's not bad for the price yeah but as we go through and do a little bit more to this trailer as we find stuff or things we want to note you guys will see either some shorts or some other videos we do have a lot more plans for the trailer so expect a few more uh yeah, we videos. plan on doing epoxy floors, uh, LED lighting, upgrading some suspension stuff. That's stuff we wanted to do. We'll do videos on that to share with you guys so you can see what we do in the video. But overall, that is it. Well, let's let's hop to the other side, though. We got a, we got a nice door. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Let's show them that. All right, one more thing on this side. We do have the side entrance door. Um, normally, this is another option we picked, which is the RV-style handle, in case we wanted to take it somewhere and we could stay inside or something. We do have that handle so we can get in and out. And it also has the bar latch for security. You got stuff latched in there. We also have the diamond plate step up to get inside, which, which is nice. It looks nice too. Yep. I mean, like with a lot of trailers I've seen, there's there's always that fit and finish issues with a lot of them. So as we get more into this one, I could, you know, I'll be able to tell you where they could do a little better with that. I mean, I've already seen a few things in here, but they're nothing major. Uh, so far it's been like some loose screws and things like that but so far so good we haven't been up on the roof yet see how that looks but as we get into that we'll sure we make a video for you guys so you can see that also so what do you think i mean i'm liking it it towed nice i mean the few things we've 
found right off the bat weren't anything major it's things i could expect from other uh trailer manufacturers yeah and i have seen them with other manufacturers so. and again uh price wise with the features i mean getting some of those extra things that you'd be paying a lot more money for kind of you know it's better to have oh what you find in there buddy uh, just the top part of the door it touches up here gotcha not a problem uh this also does have a little uh latch right down here so you can actually lock the door it's 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 not like really rugged or anything but it'll, it'll do the job RV style. yeah but uh overall very happy with it can't wait to kind of go through it some more see some of the changes we're gonna make so stay tuned for that all right guys so that sums up this trip uh thanks for tagging along with us uh it was a pretty good ride very happy with the trailer right now gonna be really cool videos coming for you guys well i say right now because like as we go and add more, it's going to get better. So, like, right now, the condition it's at, I like it. But, like, we always do stuff to the Once stuff we get more, like, get some lights in there, epoxy the floor, this thing's going to look beautiful. Uh, just why, nice having one for us. That's too. why we just gave you a short, quick tour right now, because we're going to be changing up a bunch of things. If you guys got any questions about anything on it, or even the company, we'll leave their information down below. Like I said, we're not affiliated with them at all, but if you're interested in maybe a trailer, contact them. Speak with Alex. He's who we dealt with. Yep. Um, I'm sure he'll hook you up with something. Okay, but uh, I, I think that sums it up. If you can, hit that like button and uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell little so bell, you guys yeah, can see that. our upcoming videos on this trailer and a bunch of the other stuff we do. He already said if you have questions, drop them below. If you guys have any comments or things you want to see maybe in this trailer, I mean, you can give us some ideas. We always appreciate the feedback. Or maybe you have a trailer and you've done a bunch of stuff, you got some suggestions, let us know. Yeah, we do have uh, we have Facebook, Instagram. You're more than welcome to send us a picture on our Facebook page if you guys have a nice trailer that you decked out with some ideas of things we might want to look at. Yeah. Uh, but besides that, I think that pretty much sums yeah, up this little it. trip. That's it for this little trip and little tour. Stay tuned for the ones to come. With that being said, till next time, try something new. Do a little bit of everything. Whenever your heart is broken.